This video is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. If you like the game you see here and want to pick it up for cheap prices while supporting the channel, use the affiliate link below and go buy this game. I mean, we're all quarantined, what else are you going to do while you're sitting at home? Larva, medium difficulty, the trail is weakened, but still present, this is not a story mode. Hard difficulty, close to the intended low for those who are not afraid of hardships, but could use a small handicap, Imago. Intended difficulty, you often find yourself struggling and likely to die, and that will give you a new understanding of the world of Pathologic 2. By god, I think that's what we're gonna play. Oh! And I thought the main menu would help me understand things, okay. Our play begins in the middle of things. It might take time to figure out what is happening, but it will all start coming together soon. Or in about, I don't know, 10 hours of gameplay? Five minutes later. Oh my god, we finally get some answers. You are Artemy Barak, a surgeon. You're coming back to your hometown summoned by a disturbing letter from your father. That is the first bit of clarity I have gotten in what's going on here. I had more clarity arriving in Rapture than I do here. Apparently I'm a hobo. If I get a shotgun, I can be Rugged Howard. Rugged Howard, you're not dead? Alright, let's get one thing clear. You aren't you aren't sucking my blood and you ain't sucking anything else. Okay. Just when I thought it couldn't get any more weird, we have red-eyed devil man there and the big blue bull over there. Oh, and more than pop more than poppin'. Oh great. We have the cult of poppin'. Okay, oh, I don't know what I did, I just... I'm dead. All I did was one... Oh, no. My god, I'm in the fucking train with the vampire again. My god. More coffins. A lot of coffins. Jeez, no wonder that guy could get around so easy. Wait a minute. He's still on the train. So why am I in here with the coffins? So I hope this isn't creepy at all that I just walked into this room, woman's room, but let's talk to her. Water, I'm so thirsty. I need a drink of fresh water. Please bring it to me. Where do I get it? Outside, in the yard, hard to talk. Well, keep silent then. Shut up, lady! Hey, I said I'm a doctor. I can heal people. I, ne I never said anything about bedside manner. Come and play with us, Danny. Forever and ever and ever. So much no. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, just uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, you two aren't going to turn into monsters, are you? Oh, shit. Nope. 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 No. Maybe I won't bring you water. Monster. I am pain. Just, just, just no. Just no. Can, can I open one door and it not want to be something that wants to murder me? You know, this game amazes me and how it can just keep throwing stuff at me and keep me completely confused. I won the race fists. Oh, oh, it's coming to fisty cups. Okay. Well, that was a rather unimpressive opening. I can realize why the crowd went silent now. You know, I, I thought I'm supposed to be a doctor in this game. I'm supposed to help people, you know? I'm a doctor, not a goddamn fighter. I Man, the bright side, he doesn't seem like much of a fighter either. It kind of seems like just two drunk guys boxing each other. Okay, this is not... Wh what? I'm back to the trains again. Vampire Man finally snapped. He went on a killing spree. Or no, I, I got off the train and immediately got welcomed to my country by a bunch of thugs. I just got jumped because isn't this is such a lovely country. Day one, in which the Haru Specs finds out his hometown has changed beyond recognition. No, no, I remember the thugs jumping people in the middle of the street. I don't remember the wolf-headed people over there. But I apparently the fursonas have invaded the country. Yeah, it's hard for a hunchback, but well boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it. You're gonna be in serious trouble. I mean, a, a hunchback, that's that's a bit rude. I'm just, I'm bent over in pain here. There you go, a tourniquet. You used to be my leash, you fucking furry. I don't know, rumors go around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out you are a furry. And you disgust me. Warehouses, only rants live here, eh? Well, as long as they aren't walking around two feet carrying blades and are going, yes, yes. I can talk to you, what do you have to say? Ah, oh, she must be offended or shamed. She's free to go, we told her, but she refuses. I'll have you know, we were respectful. We only checked her legs. You know, I don't know if that's respectful, or just creepy. You checked her legs for what? Neither clay nor bone, she's a normal living girl, not a shabnak. And so, she's free to go. Yet she doesn't, she must be offended. The step people have odd morals. They don't fear death, they refuse to cut a body, and are ashamed of strange things. A shabnak is a creature of step legend. They say Earth disgorges it, and then it's the other ones formed by their own murdering folks. It's all silly, of course. 
says the man, checking people's legs. A murderer walks the streets, human or Shevnak, who knows? But our kids are outside too, won't stay home no matter what we tell them. Well, why can't you just ground them? Everything's terrible. It all started with that awful tower. There's nothing we can do now. Kids do whatever they damn well please. I mean, the trees here are, are rather nice. You could just break a branch off and end with that. Wait, somehow me telling her to beat her kids actually made it go up. I mean, no one cares about me, but... We're having a positive effect on the neighborhood. I'm sorry, this kid's carrying ammo on him? I mean, sure. Why not? Yeah, I'll take it. Lady, I think I found your fucking problem. You're letting your kids carry around bullets. What's wrong with you? You give them a gun. Would you look at that? Those stupid furries are at it again. Yeah, but what's going on over there? That's where the bodies are taken. What bodies? Are today's victims accidental victims? My god, there's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everyone's dying. We're calling it accidents. Oh no, I'm out in the country. We're Nicholas Angel. <laughs> no wonder I haven't seen anyone juggling. They're all dead. And, uh, what's going on here? Hey, no kun. Be Kara, you are a good man. Buy my bull? Same back to you. How much do you want for it? And what? why would I want a bull? I mean, I know why I'd want a bull, but why would I want this bull? It's not just any bull. It brings luck. When time comes, I'll tell you what to do. So you're selling me a curse on four legs. Great. I'll take if... I'll take if from you if you pay me. You know, I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be. Or if that's a translation error. Oh, I won't buy the bull. Maybe I didn't have the money. I mean, I only looted off three dead men. I mean, what? Needle. Thread. I mean, to be fair, if anything ever made sense in the game, it was having needle and thread on you to trade. My god, talking to people is apparently making this go well. It's not going well for those guys. Everyone, calm down now. No more mob justice. What the fuck do you want? I mean, that took a turn for the worst. Jeez. You know, for the guy who wants to stop the fighting, you sure are standing there ready to beat these guys up. Oh! I'm sorry, she looks like a killer from Dead by Daylight. Huh, caught me off guard there. Doesn't help that they're walking around with the beehive version of the Bride of Frankenstein haircut there. Now in this light, not bad. That may have been a sign that I should not go down this alleyway. You know, out of everything I was expecting those guys to be running from, this isn't what I was expecting. And her first words are, hello, I didn't do anything. That's innocent. I brought my bones here. To be fair, everyone brings their bones everywhere they go. I won't explain to you I did nothing wrong. I just brought my bones here. What's wrong with that? These bones are mine. I didn't steal them. I tell the truth. Well, sure, there's nothing legally wrong here. It's a little creepy, but there's nothing legally wrong. I didn't say the option that gives her advice. Well, she's gonna be dead. If you see a man, run. Men are angry today. They kill the likes of you and I. I say there's 12 of them. 12 angry men. You know, I just discovered that if I look at them from this angle, I see what a demonic gathering would be. Couldn't you have gone here, say, yesterday? Everything would be different then. Hey, you know, I had a lot, lot to go through, okay? We had a we had a man in a coffin come out, and I was afraid he was going to suck my blood. We had a weird executioner man, and people turned into leather-clad figures with white masks. We had a bull to derail a train, and there's been a lot going on that has not been normal. Old Barack is dead. I mean, it's, you know, is he murdered? Was he cut up, or did he die of old age? Yeah, as I understand, he was your only surgeon, but surely. You all got eyes. Remember, guys, realized I've been using my eyes now? The vampire man standing right there. I'm getting some reflective skin vibes here, but I'm thinking we actually have a vampire. Oh, jeez! Oh, yeah, that's right, they think I murdered someone. Okay. Actually, no, that's, that's a normal reaction. Who, boy, that's... that's... hmm... Hmm, that's not good. Let's hope that's not going down constantly throughout the game. Is that Reuben? I, oh, there we go, I can move now. The Bachelor. Well, one thing is clear. You are a very, very lucky man. Which means you need to take care of yourself. You are so careless, Varak. It's Artemy Varak, right? That's not even close. Daniel Dankovsky, Bachelor of Medicine. Oh, he's that kind of bachelor, okay. But where's Reuben? This place used to belong to a friend of mine. My dear fellow, Reuben is no friend of yours. Quite the opposite, actually. Any observer could deduce that your hypothetical meeting would have little to no chance of ending well. 
What are you, a brainiac from Superman Red Sun? Was he going to convince me to commit suicide in like 12 minutes? 12 seconds, whatever it was? Well, from this point on, you <laughs> owe me. I just saved you from a rather grisly fate. Your Reuben has utterly murderous intent. Isidore meant quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself old Brock's son. True son, unlike you. Anyways, he thinks you're to blame for his father's death. Look, you have my condolences, Varak. Guess we're going with that name. But since we've established that you owe me, let me explain how you'll repay your debt. Let's hope that doesn't get weird. Things are about to get a little tense. Uh, it's getting weird. And I need only one thing. Just do exactly as I tell you. Okay, stranger danger, I'm tapping out. We're, uh, we're leaving now. Wait, it wasn't like that. Allow me to sum up. Reuben told me he's not the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy, and quiet. Close at hand. So, uh, I know this is his room, but he was trying to kill me. So... I'm just going to loot this. People lock their windows and hide their children when I approach. You know, considering their children don't even listen to them, I, that's pretty bad. That's, that's really bad. Well, just like that statue, I have half a mind to save the game and continue this another day. God, I love Eastern European games. They're so weird, creepy, and filled with jank. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>